Okay, hey guys, Paul from Babel Tech. And in this video, I wanna talk about how you can change your website branding, meaning uh, how you can change your site logo, um, the, the page, well, the site title, uh, the tagline for your site, and, uh, and even this little, um, this little image that appears in your browser tab. So this is called a favicon. Maybe some people pronounce it fav icon, but I think it's favicon. Um, how you can change all these things to to match your branding. Um, so probably what some people might assume is if we click on the uh, the page editor um, that we can change it through there because most things on the the site are edit editable through the the page editor, um, and basically the page editor applies on a on a page per page basis. Uh, whereas this stuff at the top, this is kind of like site wide. Um, it's a, it's like, it's a global header. Um, so generally speaking, that's, uh, that means that you would need to, um, do it through a different way than using the page editor. So we don't want to use that. So let's hit done. Instead, what we want to do to update the, the header, um, and the footer as well, for that matter. Uh, is go over to the customizer. So let's click on the customize. Right, and uh, so once that's finished loading, so you can see that I've got now this, this pencil icon, this pencil icon appears, which is telling me that th this stuff, and if I hover over, you can see some other pencil icons. So it's telling me that this stuff is uh, is editable through the, the customizer. So let's take a look, let's click on that. Okay, so it's it's under something called site identity. I'll just show you the, I'll just show you the menu tree for it. So it's under, it's under header, site identity. Okay, so we can change the, the logo. Um, we can change the, the site title. We can change the site tagline here. And they call it the site icon, but it's actually a favicon, but we can change that through here as well. Um, you can see that it's a little bit cropped off here because uh, it requires a, a square image, whereas my logo is, is not square. Um, so you might wanna maybe like Get a bit creative and like you know maybe crop out the first letter of your of your logo or, or something like that but it does need to be square i guess it doesn't matter too much if it's cropped off like this um so let's 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 change the logo okay so i want to uh click there now it's going to send me to the the media gallery um maybe something we in, we can use instead Let's choose that funny monster. Yep, okay. Um, okay, let's let's try that. Crop that. Okay, so now I've got a, a funny red monster type image as my logo. Doesn't that look great? Okay. Um, now the option here, different use a different logo for retina devices. So this is like for um, especially like uh, Apple devices, like Apple mobile devices. They they use a retina display. Um, I haven't I haven't really found a need to to use that um, in my experience. But if if you're having problems with like your your logo appearing pixelated or something, then maybe you want to perhaps upload a higher resolution logo. Um, as I said, I haven't really found it necessary. You can make the, the logo bigger or smaller. Whoa, Let's shrink it down a little bit. Yep, down to 80, yep. So you can, you can, you can change your logo that way as well. Uh, you can ch update the site title and site tagline from, from here. I'm not gonna do that uh, just now. Um, let's change the, the favicon. Let me use that again. So that might work pretty well since it's kind of square um, aspect ratio anyway. 
Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, so, so that's how, that's how we uh, update the, uh, the, the site identity. So you want to publish that and get out, close it. And there you go. So that's how you would change your, your logo from whatever the, the, the template default is and, uh, and use your own. Um, I think it's always, I think it's always good, a good idea to think about a logo, um, have a logo for your site. Um, you know, a logo really defines your brand. Um, I, I, I will publish a blog post probably in the near future um, where I talk about like some of the, some of the best practices to, uh, to follow when it comes to, to creating a logo. Um, but I think things like it should be unique, it should be, should be meaningful, it should say something about your brand. Uh, it should be simple. So because if your logo is going to be shown like in a number of different sizes, like from you know, either like a tiny postage, postage stamp size um, image to something that's, that's much larger, uh, it might look great on the large size, but on the when it's on the small resolution, you know, if you can't if you can't make out what it actually is, it's it's not good. Um, so, you know, just just things like that uh, are worth considering. As I said, I'm, I'm going to publish a blog post about it in the near future, and uh, I will link to that uh, when I do. Um, all right, so I guess that's it for now. So thanks very much.